tutorial, we're going to create a duotone effect in Photoshop. Uh, so to start this, you want to download an image or start with your image, uh, make sure it's a high res image, um, and open it in Photoshop. Okay, so we're going to start with the image open. Um, and then we're going to go open our layers palette. If it's not over here on the right hand side, you can find your layers palette in the window drop down menu and then check off layers. We're going to create a new fill layer. <laughs> Windows layers. Click the create layer. Just one layer. Yeah, click this guy. And then we're going to choose gradient map. This is going to open your properties panel. Um, and it defaults to whatever gradient you used last. Um, so to change the gradient, because this is not the color I would like it to be, um, to change the gradient, we are going to uh, go into our presets, click the down arrow to the right of this gradient strip here, and then it shows you all the presets that are already made on your computer. Okay, now since Duotone is two-tone, two, duo, uh, we're not going to choose any of the um, gradients that have more than two colors in it, otherwise it is no longer a duotone. Um, so it's as simple as that. You can click the presets and then if you're satisfied with those colors you're good to go. Um, but I'm going to show you how to change the color or create your own um, custom colors. So the violet and the orange um, option works really well as a preset, but if you wanted to change it, um, we would click this gradient preview right here, just click it once, and our gradient editor opens. Um, then to change any of these color stops, you simply just double click them and it opens up our color picker here and we can change the color. Um, and you'll notice it's previewing to the right of us. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to choose that color. Um, once I've, you've changed the color, click OK and then you can go ahead and change the, um, the other color by double clicking that blue. Choose that one by double clicking that um, color stop and choose your color and then click OK. So now we have a new gradient here. Okay. Um, if you want to save this gradient, we would click on the save button right here. Um, we're going to call this teal and peach. Click save. Now that is uh, part of our gradients in um, in our in our document. Okay, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I lost track of my notes. All right, and then we're going to click OK. Now, if we wanted to change colors from our gradient, or excuse me, change colors of our gradient from our layers palette, instead of going here and creating a new one, because that's just going to make a, um, a new layer, we want to edit this gradient map that, map that we currently have. You would simply double click um, this icon to the left of the gradient map, uh, on the, the left uh, on the gradient map layer, and then again, single click your gradient preview, it brings us into the gradient editor, and then we can go in and tweak our um, color stops and change those. You can also slide them, um, that gives you It'll change your brightness and contrast and like where your details are. So more peach, less peach, more dark values. Um, so you can play with those as well. Click OK. And that's it. That is literally how you just make a duotone. Um, and then you can use this in posters and other kinds of designs or whatever project that we are working on.